Cool, so I'm going to start uh, with homework number uh, 12, which is creating an Amazon-like storefront called Amazon. This is uh, my README file, which I've created here, um, embedded it in the readme.md section of it. Um, there's three parts to this homework. Um, I did two of them. I didn't get to get to the executive, but the first one is the customer.js which pretty much displays all the products in our database as you can see here um, I've created a database um, with different products um, has an ID product name department name price and stock quantity from there we're gonna be able to query that and use it from a node application from the terminal so if we run that we're gonna be able to um, sorry, I went into the wrong one, but if we go to the customer, we're going to be able to see all of the items displayed in that database. So as you can see here, we have iPhone 7, Samsung Note with department and price and stock quantity. I did add a special function which was an npm package which is called CLI table which makes it look pretty cool like this. So if we want to buy uh, the first product which is the iPhone 7 and let's say we want to buy two of them it tells us your total for two iPhone 7's is $17.99 and 98 cents. As you can see here the stock quantity is $4.32 before our purchase and if we look at our database and refresh that it's going to go down by two which is uh, 430. The second part to this um, is the manager which the code is here and this is going to have different options um, with uh, switch statements that take you into different uh, functions. So as you see here we can go ahead and get out of this and then we'll call the manager part of it from there it's gonna ask you to uh, what would you like to do so you can view products for sale so we can view low inventory add to inventory and add a new product or even exit out of the node module so if we view products for sale we can see all the same products again with the updated 430 stock quantity that we've seen in the database um, if you wanna go ahead and view low inventory anything less than five so the only thing is this surface pro so that's going to go ahead and should be the only thing displayed which is here the next is if you want to add to inventory let's say we want to add um, uh, the macbook 13 inch hit enter uh, we'd like to add 10 we currently have uh, 130 of those so let's add 10 and then it says thank you your inventory has been updated if we view products for sale we'll see that the MacBook Pro has 140 now so we added 10 if we want to add a new product it says please enter the name of the product you'd like to add let's just say uh, our last was the Logitech mouse um, let's say we want to add a uh, new era hats and Hats. and let's say I created a, a database or a table I should say called um, departments which is here and if you look we have different departments women's clothing men's toddler clothing electronics and so forth so um, that's giving me the options here so let's just say we want to go ahead and add that to uh, men's clothing uh, let's say we want to add a price of $25 and we want to add 55 of those or five I actually clicked uh, five less so if we look for product for sale you'll see that new era hats got created $25 and we added five of them if we want to exit the app we just go ahead and click exit and it takes us right back to where we're at thank you